we're back tonight working on the old maid's block I redid I just restarted I got this uh, first on the first block here and the first two blocks I had to rewind the bobbin and then I realized that this one right here wasn't open so my seam allowance wasn't open so I had to go Look up John and do that. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing awesome. We're gonna get this block did. And I got, I don't know how many more I'm gonna make of this. I don't know why I backstitched that. Tonight, you see I'm not doing them like this. I'm just going to go ahead and pick them up like this tonight. Which either way it doesn't matter. But it seems like that's the way I want to do it tonight because that's the way I started it out. I don't know. I'll probably go back and do that. Do what I normally do. I'm going to put my leader on there. So you see, you can be all over the place without even realizing it. That's why I was backstitching. Okay, so. Yeah, I should have. Okay, but it's okay. Okay, we're gonna do these. We're gonna do like we was doing chain piecing. Put my leader on there. Just makes it a lot easier for me. And you don't get your blocks all messed up. A lot of water. And the whole nine. Hope everybody's doing good today. Um, it's raining here this evening, but it's not storming, so that's a good thing. I don't mind the rain. I just don't like the wind, the thundering, and the lightning. This block is called the Old Maid. The Old Maid block. Um, and it's also made with the two. Um, trying to scare me there, buggy. It's also made with the half square triangles. That's what I call myself doing, making a series of half square triangles. I'm only going to make a few more of these blocks here. A couple of more, I think. I think maybe two more after this one. And then I'm going to pull me some fabric and make some blocks with the half square triangles. I'm going to put this one on. Excuse the dogs, they over here wrestling beside me. Told you, my house is live. It's always somebody making noise. They're fighting over the pillow. That's what they're doing. They have a pillow each now and there. But they always fight over them. Put the 
having too much dinner tonight. Daughter went to Hooters and got some chicken wings. We did not cook tonight. We usually eat out on Fridays, but I don't know. Neither one of us feel like cooking tonight. So Hooters it was. to uh, pull some fabric, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I want to make a sampler quilt because there's so many half square triangle blocks you can do, I just want to make sure that I do some more that's going to be a little bit harder, well it looks a little bit harder, but actually will not be because they're made with half square triangles. They'll look like these blocks are really difficult to make, but they won't be. And we're going to make a block a week until we get enough for a quilt. And this one here, I'm going to put some, uh, I'm gonna put some sashing and some Borders on this one to make it big enough for a baby, a crib quilt. I probably need to clean this machine. It always wants to eat up my fabric. And this probably needs to be clean. Clean your machine, people. Clean your machine. But I hadn't been working on it that much, but when I do work on it, I work on it. So it probably needs a little brushing out. is going to turn out to be a little bit bigger and you know I'm going to go and iron it okay now we're going to put it together no we're not I'm going to open the seams and uh, then we'll come back and put it together I'll be right back okay I got all my blocks open and it's it's probably if you're going to open your blocks open your seams uh, it would probably be good to just go ahead and do that instead of trying to. Sorry about that. Caught up in my rug. Um, instead of trying to uh, finger press them, because uh, these open, um, these have square triangles, like I said before, they can give you a lot of bulk. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and finish this puppy up for you and it just makes it a lot easier to sew together too for me I see sometimes a lot of people just finger press and keep it moving but uh, I don't need to get my stiletto over here. 
know why it's always trying to eat my material. I'm gonna work on this machine. Probably I worked on my baby lock and it's still <laughs> it's still skipping stitches, so I don't know. I may be able to take it to the shop. I do more damage than it's worth. But I don't know why it's eating up my material. At least trying to. Just try to keep your keep all your seams together. As you know, I'm going to open that seam there also. And you may can get a peep at my other block here. Don't, I do not know the name of this block. Maybe. I'm not going to promise you. This depends on how I'm going to uh, the week goes. Maybe I'll find out what the name of this block is. I actually just seen a picture of it. Knew it was made with half square triangles and made it. And actually, I made it with three inch blocks. And I probably should have made it with two and a half inch blocks. But, who says all your blocks got to be the same in a quilt? I'm going to put sashing around them, so it don't have to be the same. It would, I guess it would be nice, but it really don't have to be. It's going to be a little bigger than the 12. So, but I will make it fit in there. I sure will. I'll just cut my sash in bigger around the other blocks to make it make them all fit and then trim them down because I have some others too that's a little bit over like 12 and a half and I said I was going to cut them down but I don't think I am I think I'm going to leave them the size they came out to be and work with them like that you can see this is a cute little block really like it. I enjoy making it because it's so easy when you make them with half square triangles. And Cookie's having her meltdown in there. She thinks she's big enough to do what my grandson does. So anytime he gets out of sight, she gets upset with him and let him know about it. having their play time before bedtime. Stand open. Turn it there. You don't want to wad it up. Got a little bit of. Need to feed this 
but I'm blocked in a little bit. Let's see if I can get that done and if I can remember how to do that. Speed dogs normally will feed it in a little bit. I don't know why. Yeah, it's going. It was going. to be trimmed up anyway. <clears throat> and here is our block. Hold on just a minute. And there's our block. I'm going to go over here, open up these seams, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I didn't realize I had left you on, but I'm gonna. This is the block. It's been pressed in. This is the old maid. It's been pressed and all the seams are open. See how flat it is? So even if you want to hand stitch it, it would be good to do so. But this is our old maid's block. And next week, we're going to do this one. I do not know the name of it, but um, I'll try to find out the name of it. If anybody know the name of it, just leave it in the comments. It looks like a star to me. Um, maybe a twirling star. I don't know what's the name. But like I say, before we put it together, I'll try to investigate and find the names name of it so okay that's what we got tonight and i'll be back next week i'm gonna come back and talk to you all hold on okay i'm back okay this is a pretty block but don't this right here look like fish and actually i have one that makes fish with two and a half um which has square triangles. I can't, I don't know why I want to say two and a half inches. But anyway, but that looks like fish on that, on each end, in an hourglass. But it's called the old maid. But this right here, remember when we were kids? I thought about it after I said it looked like a star. Can you see it? It looks like that. Remember, you, it used to be on a stick and you would hang it out the car window or you would blow it. That's what it looks like. But I'm going to look it up, find out what that block is. But anyway, I just wanted to come back and uh, thank you for uh, spending your evening with me and watching me make another block. So I'm going to probably do, this makes four, make probably four. This block, this one, and another one, that will give me six. I think that'll be enough to make a baby's quilt. And then I'm going to start doing some half, a uh, series of half square triangles with some beautiful fabrics, some pretty fabric, and make a sample of squid out of. Uh, but I'm going to start working on some of the kids' quilts. This is going to wind up being one of the quilts I'm going to donate. Uh, to the children and um, that's about it I got in work but I will next week come back and we will do this block we'll do this block like I said you can tell it is a lot bigger than 12 inches a lot bigger a lot bigger a lot bigger see a lot bigger but like I say, I'm not going to cut it down. I'm not going to cut them down. I'm just going to put some session around them and make them all fit. But if you like what you've seen on this video, and um, would you hit that uh, like button, hit um, share with your friends, hit subscribe, and hit all. Uh, it would really help my channel out a lot. It would really be appreciated. I have a goal 
of 700 by the end of the year. I'm doing pretty good, but I could do better. So you guys will help me with that. I do have a giveaway I want to give. So it'd be nice if somebody get a nice um, gift card from, I said, uh, Jordan's Fabrics. But if you don't want Jordan's Fabric, you could just let me know. But I'll probably be not already about it. But anyway, Jordan's Fabric, has she has some beautiful things. Don't know if you ever uh, looked at her channel, Jordan's Fabric. She has a lot of videos, show you how to do things. And look, I'm not trying to send you to everybody's channel. Oh, I, I need you to stay over here. It's enough love going around for everybody. But she does do a lot of uh, videos to show you how to do a quilt. And she has a lot of free patterns too that would be easy for beginners also. But anyway, she doesn't pay me anything. I'm not associated with her. I just like her. And she and I bought from her and I love her fabric. I have some fabric from her and uh, her mat is awesome to deal with because it's family owned and you don't have to worry about running through a whole lot of people. And uh, if you have a problem, they will take care of it. Just like um, Missouri Star, I've ordered from them and they gave me half of my order and didn't give me the rest of it and they got on the phone and apologized themselves, you know. So, you know, that says a lot for a big company like Missouri Star. But, not associated with her neither. I'm not associated with anybody but Sarah. Okay. So, enough chit-chatting. I'm going to let you all go. And it's not the weekend yet while I'm filming this video. But, by the time you see it, it will be the weekend. I'm going to wish you a happy weekend. Enjoy yourself. It's getting cool. You can go to some ball games. Just stay away from people. Wear your mask. Be safe out there. And once again, one more time, please hit that like button. Share my videos. Subscribe. Hit all so you know when I upload another video. And you won't miss anything. And it would deeply, deeply be appreciated. God bless you and your family. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.